Kelly, I'm sorry. Anyway, good morning and welcome to Sunrise Serenades. We're here in the Piper Palm House in Tower Grove Park. It's a beautiful facility. It's the oldest standing greenhouse west of the Mississippi. And we're going to feature our show and today is Sukai and the Compton Heights Concert Band. It's the second part of the four part series. Don't go away, we'll be back in a minute. We have a deal for you. We're going to start offering episodes of Sunrise Serenades, beautifully packaged. And we're going to start with our July 4th tribute. We call it the Independence Day Celebration. It features the Compton Heights Concert Band and the amazing finale, Overture 1812 by Tchaikovsky, with the Civil War cannons and the downtown beautiful, exciting fireworks. It's a wonderful show. You can order it by calling the band office at 776-2227. Hi, I'm Katie with the Compton Heights Concert Band. You're watching Sunrise Serenades on KMOV Channel 4. And Lucy, you're looking at the original bus that once surrounded the Shaw bandstand. It was Henry Shaw's dream to do this. He completed it in the 1860s. Recently, these were all replaced and restored. They had suffered the ravages of time, acid rain, vandalism, you name it. They now are here, though, on display permanently, the original one. So we're going to honor Mozart and the other composers here today by being here, and we're going to open the concert with his honor march. <laughs> It's all here at the Piper Palm House in Tower Grove Park. And speaking of Fantasia, that's the next tune that we're going to play. It's by Eddie Navia, the Compton Heights Concert Band, conducted by Edward Dalbashian and Sue Kai in Fantasia. Thank 
Hi, I'm Quentin with Sukai, and you're watching Sunrise Serenades on Channel 4. You know, Sukai is a terrific ensemble. And if you'd like to have a CD by Sukai, you simply call the Compton Heights Concert Band Office at 314-776-2227, and we can help you with your order. We have several CDs available. Just give us a call today. Again, that's 314 314- 776-2227, and we'll be glad to help you. Good morning and welcome to Kitty's Kitchen. This morning I'd like to feature a recipe um, that was submitted to the cookbook by Claudia Wright, who um, is a very regular uh, attendee at the band concert. So thanks, Claudia, for the recipe. The one I made earlier today is great. This is going to be one of my favorites. I've already cooked the rice. Our recipe is called Black Bean and Rice Salad. So the rice has already been cooked in a chicken broth. I've drained a can of black beans. I've chopped up all the vegetables. There's uh, red onion, red pepper, green pepper, and chopped cilantro. And it calls for cumin. Not real big on measuring, as you can see. That's about good. And chili powder. Olive oil. I'm only making half of this recipe, so the recipe calls for um, bu -bu -bu. half a cup, I'm just going to use about a quarter of a cup, and red wine vinegar, and I hate to say this, but I used the last orange in the recipe I made this morning, so I'm using lime juice instead, and somebody made fun of me one day because uh, they seem to think that I never followed the recipe. That is not true. Um, and anyway, uh, that's what makes good cooks, I think. If you can kind of go with the flow, if you have a recipe, it's just a road map, you don't have to follow it precisely. So, Chuck, you made fun of me, just forget it. So, got all that in there. I'm going to mix it up. So, you don't need to stand and watch me mix that up, since I've already done one this morning. And, Claudia, this is, this is just great looking salad. And, Claudia suggests that we serve it on some, a bed of lettuce, which I'm doing right here. And, Mom, thanks for the lettuce, homegrown out of our garden. I shouldn't say our garden, she does most of it. And she also suggests that we keep a few sprigs of cilantro as garnish. And there we are, black bean and rice salad from Claudia Wright. And that's all from, for today from Kitty's Kitchen. Musik and I are still here in the Piper Palm House. We're looking at some more busts of composers. I've got Verdi behind me and Uno next door here. Uh, there are really amazingly preserved here, and it's a great place to visit. Bring your whole family, maybe before a concert sometime, you get to see these wonderful statues that preserve the heritage of Henry Shaw. We're going to continue our show today with a tune that is, includes a lot of the rhythms and dances of Brazil, and it's called the Brazilian Folk Dance Suite. <laughs>
from the Compton Heights Band, and you're watching Sunrise Serenades on Channel 4. We hope you enjoyed our visit to the Piper Palm House here in Tower Grove Park. Incidentally, it's also available for receptions and meetings, and there's catering, too. Just give Tower Grove Park a call, and you can make your arrangements with them. And we're glad you watched today. It was a great show with Sukai and Compton Heights Concert Band. We're going to continue the four-part series next week with Sukai and the Compton Heights Concert Band here on Sunrise Serenades, Channel 4, 5.30 a.m., KMOV. We'll see you then. Bye until then. To find out more about the Compton Heights Concert Band, you can visit us online at chband.org. It's all there. History, concerts and events, products and services. There's even information on how to join the band. If you're not a musician, 
and you would still like to show your support, you can become a member of the bandwagon. Hop on. Log on to the Compton Heights Concert Band's website today at chband.org. we will be glad you did. If you'd like to have a CD by some kind, it's simply call the Compton Heights Concert Band office at 314-776-2227, and we can help you with your order. We have several CDs available. Just give us a call today. Again, that's 314-776-2227, and we'll be glad to help you.